The polar vortex is a popular weather term that gets a lot of buzz each and every year. Last year, we didn't see much of it, so you probably didn't hear much about it. But this year, it's looking like we could see a trend to favor the polar vortex impacting our weather here in the United States as we head into the month of February. First, let's talk about what the polar vortex is. According to the National Weather Service, it is a large area of low pressure and cold air surrounding both of the Earth's poles. It is always near the poles, but weakens in the summer and strengthens in the winter. The term vortex refers to the counterclockwise flow of the air that helps keep the colder air near the poles. But many times during the winter months in the northern hemisphere, the polar vortex will expand, sending colder air southward with the jet stream. And this often occurs during wintertime and is associated with large outbreaks of Arctic air in the United States. So these Arctic outbreaks, um, a lot of times they, they don't last particularly long, especially in the recent years. So maybe two or three brutally cold days, so maybe highs below, let's say, 20 for two, two, three days max. And then a lot of times you start to moderate after that. But don't worry, the polar vortex isn't here right now. But it will be something we'll be keeping a close eye on as this becomes more clear as to what we could be looking at into the latter half of the month. For now, models are indicating that there will be some disruption in the poles, more specifically with the vortex, which could then ultimately usher in this colder air from the north into much of the eastern part of the United States, and more specifically, bringing some bone chilling conditions and snowfall to parts of central Ohio. Reporting for 10TV News, I'm Doppler 10 meteorologist Ross Caruso.